Hello lovelies and welcome back to Mama G gear. Mama G here and Rusty's not. Anyway, I have gotten this huge box from um, my friend and probably yours, Diane DeSmith. And we're doing a yarn swap. And I love doing yarn swaps. So how this yarn swap is going is she sent me a box and then I'm going to send her a box. So, because it's hard to, to, you know, when you're doing a yarn swap, it's hard to figure like, well, how much are you sending? Well, how much should I send? So we just did it where she had some stuff and she was in the ability to, to send. Uh, she was already packing it. Okay. So I says, well, you know. I think she actually mentioned it. She's like, just get what I send you and then send me back. All right. So let me open this up. There, It started with an email of um, what she, she had found some knitting thing. And she thought, you know, I got this. Would you be interested? Because Rusty and I are going to hopefully learn how to knit soon. And yeah, tape. I know. Tape. Where's the scissors? Hold on, I'll be right back. There, um, I didn't have, it didn't even leave the stage. Okay, and um, so I said, oh, I said, well, if you're not going to use them, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll take them and pay for the shipping and all that, and either use them or put them in some sort of giveaway. So let's just, it's going to be loud. I'm going to rip the tape, rip that bandaid off. Okay, and then I'll show you my poncho, which I just finished. Um, okay, so there's some fun stuff in here, obviously, and she was sending the knitting things, and then she said, oh, you know, I've got this, I've got that, would you be interested in, in other yarns? And I'm like, you know what, let's do a swap. Instead of me paying for this and whatnot, we'll just swap. And oh my goodness, look at all this yarn deliciousness. Oh, that's what it was. She had the, look at how beautifully she packed everything. Woman. What it, that's how it started is because I was looking for more of the uh, cobbles pattern cobbles with the purple and she's I have some I'm not gonna eat or she used some and then she goes well, I have a couple extra if you want them you can have them so I was like awesome cool and fabulous so wow let's just take these so there's three more of these to go with the collection that I've got thus far and again I will say if in your Mary Maxim mystery bag do I do it do I do it Mary Maxim mystery bag. Mary Maxim mystery bag. Okay, so I had to give the earworm to yarn barf. Okay, and it's funny as a lot of y'all say that you can't even see Mary Maxim without hearing me singing it. I'm really sorry about that. Some things you just can't unhear. Anyway, so the purple uh, patents cobble that was coming in the Mary Maxim boxes, I like this and I would like to make a nice big warm cape that I could wear around the house for warmth because this is really thick it's like a I don't know six weight or more so she had three more and she offered them to me so in that and then the other couple items of the knitting stuff which I'll show you now this is going to be interesting because I didn't set up a table but I do have something here I can set them on so these she had come across and I I didn't from the picture that she sent me, I wasn't sure what uh, these are. Oh, you weave them. It's like a little, it's a knitting thing where you can weave in there. That's the back. So maybe some of y'all know what that is and how to use this, which I can find out because I'm sure the instructions are in there. But these are like cool little kits. She sent me three of them, which is... Her, this is wonderful. So these will be great to go in giveaways. And yeah, it's, it's a knitting uh, specialty loom. Oh, I just noticed that there's a little kitty cat. The lady's got a kitty cat. Ah. You can make belts, headbands, and much more. So this must be for a, like a small loom. These are really cool. Straw weave. Straw weaver is what they say. Anyway, this is awesome. Thank you, Di Di thank you, Diane. I mean, for all of this, because there's a huge box of all kinds of yarns. All right, I'm gonna lay, well, let me show you what Rusty bought me really quick, if I have enough hands. Rusty bought me two of these, because uh, the smoke's coming back, but we all need them anyway. It's a fan, window fan. I don't have AC in a house or anything, because we don't really need it. 
but it's nice to have a window fan now and again. But she found purple fans. So she bought me two, and it's going to hear bang, bang, bang. She bought me two, and um, she kept herself. She kept one for herself. All right, so I'm going to use the top of that to put things down. All right, so here... Here are some of the yarns, and I'm not going to go through every single one of them with you all and give you stats or anything because that would be forever, but there's all different colors, and these look a lot like three weights. I'm seeing a lot of three weights, which I'm finding that the three weights work really well in the Addy machines, um, and I have been making those crazy socks, which I have over there, which I could even show you. So I'm making those crazy socks. So Diane, perfect. I can use these for those crazy socks. And I really should have had this tilted down more so that you could see. But then, then amid that, amongst that, is this really cool yarn that she showed me. And I'm like, if you're not gonna use that girlfriend, please, I will take it. And there's five of them. This is, yeah, there's five of these. It's a beautiful, it's a little bit, because you're, you're in natural light right now. And I apologize for my appearance, by the way. There's no eyebrows, no makeup. I did brush my teeth and I kind of put my fingers through my hair, but you get what you get, you know. Anyway, this is like a um, definite like burnt orange red, but there's also lighter colors in it. And it's kind of like, what you see with the homespun. So this is really cool and I've got five. So this will definitely make something really nice. I mean, I could make a really nice hat and scarf set out of this. And again, we live up here where it is very cold sometimes, but then there's a lot of browns, which is fabulous. A lot of the yellows. This is the Afghan yarn. So I've got several of the yellows, several of the brown, oh, a lot of the yellows. Oh my goodness, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of the yellow. And then underneath, oh, we got a purple. Oh, yay, purple for my collection. I'm reestablishing re my purple collection. And then some whites. There's a few whites. And then we got some green and some, oh, this is pretty color too. It's like an or that's exactly what, what you're seeing is what it is. And some reds and greens and whites. So that could be, oh, they're so soft. Could be more like holiday, Christmas. And then like a this is really pretty too. This is this this color I just think is fabulous for uh Rusty because that really goes so beautiful with her skin tone. And we got a black and another brown. I wish I could just show you down here. Oh, and she sent me this. Diane, you have no idea. This is so great because I don't have any of these kits. And this was one of the items in the kit, or one of the kits of the monthly subscription. Um, and Mary Maxim did a while back. And the yarn that this is, as you could see the peak, I had bought several skeins of this and I had made a cape, a hat, and a blanket with it. That's how much of this yarn I had. And it is screaming fuchsia. And I love this. And this is the kit that had the little kitty cat. And I'm so stoked. And she didn't tell me this is a surprise to me because, and she didn't know this, that this is the one kit that I would have liked to have had. Now I don't follow patterns. Um, I'm, well, I poorly follow patterns, but I can figure this one out and I will figure this one out because I want to make that kitten. I tried to win it on, um, I think D Dee from Dee's Creative Hands Crochet. I think she was giving this away in one of the giveaways and I really did try to win this because I was like, ah, of all the kits I've seen thus far, this is one that I would love to have. So thank you so, so, so much for that. that that's a major plus. And then there's a bag under here with reds, more of the Afghan yarn in the pretty red color. This is a real red red. It's showing up a little bit fuchsia, but if you look here, maybe a little bit closer, but this is great. Diane, this is a huge box. And if I could, you know, 
I'm trying to do this to you. It's a big box of yarn. So I will be going through my stash and sending you a, maybe I'll just take the yarn out of here and refill this and stuff this box back for you. But I'm so stoked. Thank you so much. And thank you for the cobble. Again, if anybody does have this, they're not, if they're not going to use it, don't give, you know, I don't want to take what you're going to use. If you're not going to use this and you have it, let me know because I will buy it from you. I'll pay the shipping, all of that, because I'd really like to acquire this for that big cape. And I think I've, I probably have maybe 12 to 15. 15 ske uh, skeins thus far. So let's show, I'm going to show you again, Diane, thank you so very, very much. And I will tag her below. I'm going to just move for a hot sec. Oh, sorry about that. All right. So what I want to show you, I'm going to back you up. Beep, 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 beep. I just finished this poncho. Literally just finished it. This is a prototype and that's the back. I'm hoping you can see. There's a little hoodie. Um, I didn't, I only had three skeins of, this is, oh my, unforgettable. And I, and this, I don't know what it is. It came in one of the uh, mystery boxes. It's a coral color, super, super, super soft. It's actually softer uh, truly, it's softer than the unforgettable. So you can imagine. So I did, I didn't have enough of this because there's only three skeins. So I was only able to do two panels, which they are long. Yes, that's my pajamas. Okay. It's really super long. And then, and then I have this panel in the back. Okay. And then the sleeves for the poncho. And I made it long enough where you know, when I put my hands forward, I have that there. And then let me put my hair up or put my hair in it. And then you have like the hood. Okay. Can you see the hood? Nothing like crouching. All right. So sorry, I should have warned you about the, oh, hey, scary person. Um, so then I put the hood. So what I did with this, this is a prototype is in doing in doing the squares when I got because I don't want to do it pointy like I've seen them and I wanted it to be more rounded here so when I got to a certain point where I felt the length was going to be long enough which is definitely much longer than I intended but I'm okay with long longer than shorter because I like to cover the fact that I have no behind and um and have very skinny legs so Instead of continuing into the granny square, I went straight across with the chain and then got to this point and then went back to the granny and went around and came back up, did a chain across, went back into the granny stitch and so forth. So you could see to like this point here, there's these four rows that instead of continuing to a point, I went straight across. And like I said, this was just a prototype. Um, one of the coral sides is a little bit wider than the other, but I think in the scheme of things, you're not gonna notice. And then when I, that was done, I just went around in a circular motion. I just love saying that. Um, oh, I'm getting a phone call right now from the man. But anyway, um, hope you could still see this and that didn't just drop down. But yeah, and then I made a hoodie where I um, alternated the, the color because I was running low on the unforgettable. But I left enough of the unforgettable that if I want to, I could add, I can add around the hood which I might do just maybe a couple rows just to tighten it up and make it clean. And the man is calling me. Anyway, I got to go. I got to answer this phone and I love you guys. Be well, be happy, be fabulous. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye for now.